Hello, my name is Michael, and today I'm going to go over Faster Than Light's tutorial uh, mechanic and uh, level. Uh, the tutorial starts off with some text uh, with the continue button. You can either press 1 or click the continue button. Uh, it then moves to the side of the screen so that the player can see everything that they may need. Uh, you have to press continue to scroll through some of the text, uh, giving little hints and other pop-ups that you can do. But the player can't actually directly control anything besides the mouse at this point until it tells you to move some energy over. Uh, once it does that, you cannot continue until you move the energy to where it said to. Uh, it then damages one of your systems and tells the player that you have to go fix that system. Uh, it, which, in this case, you have to move some uh, NPCs over to a room to start fixing the room. There's also other indicators besides just the text that lets you know that the room was damaged uh, that will pop up on screen. And these large arrows are not normally in the game. This is for the tutorial only. Uh, but once the room is fixed, it will allow the player to continue and will spawn a fire. Again, the fire cannot be skipped. You have to open the door, as it says, to put out the fire before you can press continue. Uh, then tells the player that you must have someone at the helm of the ship to fly the ship before it teaches the player how to move the ship. Again, using arrows, the whole map, you can select the new place to send your ship. Then teaches the player about in-game texts that can happen, in-game events, and how to fight an enemy ship. Again, you cannot skip over this text until the player does what it says you have to do. But in this case, it's actually just one shot. You don't actually have to destroy anything. And then you can press continue. Then gives the player an ability to uh, fire at the ship uh, with another weapon. Which again, cannot happen in the real game. Uh, that is a tutorial only little boost so that they can keep going in the tutorial. Uh, once the player has done some damage, it's going to ask the player to destroy the enemy ship to move on. Uh, once the enemy ship is destroyed, uh, it's going to give the player a weapon and teaches the player how to switch that weapon out with one of their old weapons and how to upgrade the ship by uh, using the scrap provided. It's done, it wants you to power up the weapon, and that is the end of the tutorial.